So this is the base test um, for the insulation with stale air. So I'm going to have a glass insulation around this. It's actually a wine bottle, that a, it's a broken wine bottle. Um, so I'm going to have a pocket of air that's stale that will insulate for all the wind and all the uh, convection and everything else. Now this is just a test to see what it would be like without the glass. And I have uh, 200 milliliters of oil in here and it's already at 41 degrees so I have to record this. But now I'm going to record this, test this for about half an hour and retest it in similar conditions with the glass to see how much insulation I get um, from the glass tail air which will be used then for the bike trailer uh, thermal power unit. Yeah, so a slight breeze knocked this over and all the hot oil is on the ground now so that really sucks. That will affect our data greatly. All right, I'm just taking the ambient temperature. It looks like 35. The pipe is still hot from the first test, so I tested it with just the metal and the oil inside, 200 milliliters, and now I'm going to test with the stale air. So I've trapped air, about a quarter of an inch of air, between the metal pipe, which is black, and the glass tube, which is actually a broken wine bottle. I took this aluminum foil tape, taped up the top, so there will be some air escaping, but it's trying to prevent the big currents of air that uh, pull heat away um, from the heating pipe, so we'll see what a difference this makes on heating up. All right, so now the test piece is ready heating up with the uh, glass. So you can see there, there's an air pocket, which is going to insulate the middle, and this should hold heat better, especially at high temperatures. It'll be less of a heat loss. And this is what I want in the solar thermal trailer, where I'll be running at 150 or 200 degrees Celsius. I don't want half my heat to be lost, so I'm hoping this will uh, almost double the power by losing less heat at high temperatures. So the results with this were very good. Uh, it's still going, 76 degrees now. Um, it's much faster, heats up much faster than without the glass. Now the glass is a disadvantage at low temperatures because some of the heat, uh, the actual heat and light is lost getting into the glass. It's not 100% um, transparent. So some, or if it's dirty or something else, but we actually had close to the same results at the beginning. And then as it got hotter, we got much better results and it was actually took three minutes faster to get to 74 degrees now it's at 77 um, in less time than the other one the other one would have still not even been at 74 degrees so it is heating up much faster so I imagine uh, I wish I could get it higher to 150 but it's gonna be much better there and this is just stale air with glass very easy to do if you just cut glass and put it over the pipe um, the next would be vacuum tube but I really want to compare the advantages of the two but this is definitely something we would do would definitely have stale air over uh, just an open pipe. All right, so it's at 90 degrees Celsius now. And just to show how well this works, a good insulator means it can be very hot on one side, you have an insulating material, and, then, and it'll be cool on the other side, which means the heat isn't transferring out into the atmosphere and to the outside. Now it's at 91. This, if this was 91 degrees and I was touching just glass, glass and metal are both very good conductors, um, it'd be very hot. But there's an air pocket in here, which is an insulator, so I can push my finger hard against this, and it feels slightly warm thinking it feels like maybe it's uh, 30 degrees, 35 degrees. It's about almost room temperature. At the bottom it's a little warmer, but I mean, to think that there's 90 degrees worth of heat underneath this. So much of this heat is held in by this insulating material. This is really cool now. This is at 103 degrees Celsius. So it's over the boiling point of water. And this is uh, oil that I'm doing, vegetable oil. Or uh, soybean oil, this is, I might be using this uh, in the solar power trailer. So what I'll do now, I would have, I would take um, water and pass it through a tube through the oil, and it would boil. Um, it wouldn't be this low. It wouldn't be just over 100. Now it's 104. It'd be something at like 150 degrees. 113 degrees. 114 degrees, and it's windy. Really windy. So all this wind comes by, and it tries to take energy off the pipe, but it's insulated.